Don't you just hate when you turn on your faucet, switch to a shower, and there is just a little drizzle coming out of it? That's because half of the water is being wasted through the spout for no good reason, so you need to fix it. First of all, you need to figure out what kind of spout you have. If you look underneath and see some kind of opening with a set screw in it, it's called slip on spout. So you can use the screwdriver or the Allen wrench depending on the set screw you have and then just pull out the spout. In my case, I don't have a set screw, so I need to unscrew the whole unit from the wall. But of course, using my bare hands is not gonna work here, so I'm gonna use this pair of channel locks. And if you don't wanna scratch it, put a layer of protection on the spout. Now carefully turn the spout counterclockwise to loosen it up, and then you can unscrew it by hand. So it looks like it's in a pretty bad shape with a lot of build up on it and the diverter is probably clogged up with the mineral deposits. But before I replace it I'm gonna try to clean it up by placing it in a plastic bag filled with the distilled white vinegar and I'm gonna keep it there for as long as I can. So it's been about 20 hours since I placed it in the bag. And as you can see, some of the deposits have been dissolved, but not as much as I hoped. The diverter looks a little bit cleaner. Let's see if it helped. But before you reattach it, you need to apply a few layers of Teflon or plumber's tape. It's recommended to use between two and four layers of this tape, applying it in a clockwise direction. The same direction you're gonna be screwing your spout in. And that's how it should look like at the end. Now put on the spout, hand tighten all the way to the wall, and let's test it out and see if it worked. Now it's very important to check for any water leaks between the spout and the wall, and if you see any water you may need to apply more plumber's tape. Switch the diverter to a shower head, and well, looks like soaking did not help. So I got this brand new replacement for about 10 bucks, and it comes with this black adapter for a half inch diameter pipe, and that's exactly what I need. Or you can remove it completely for a three quarter inch pipe. To install new spout, I need to clean up and reapply some plumber's tape on the pipe once again. Remove this adapter and screw it on a pipe by itself and just hand tighten it then apply a few more layers of plumber's tape on that plastic adapter also and now it's time to put on the new spout and also just hand tighten it all the way to the wall and obviously it should be facing down. Now turn on the water and check for any leaks against the wall. If all look good, flip on diverter and this time it works much better. And if you see a little drizzle from a new spout, it's actually intended to be there for a safety reason. Here I've included reference guide to three basic models on the market. But of course it's better to remove your old spout and replace it with exactly the same model. But just to give you a general idea, if you have a set screw on the bottom and front diverter, you'll probably have long pipes sticking out from the wall. But if you don't have set screw on the bottom but diverter is up front, you probably have a long threaded pipe sticking out from the wall. And like in my case, I have diverter close to the wall and short threaded pipe sticking out from the wall. And if you want to replace your spout with the same model as mine, I have included a link underneath the video. If you found this video helpful, share it with your friends and also hit the like button. Thanks!